Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to the stream. We are here playing some Nuzlocke, baby, Nuzlocke. And we have some exciting stuff on our hands. We can actually go and get as many tainted characters as we want today. That's going to be the mission of today. Oh god, my phone's going off telling me to upload my video. I've already done it, shut up. Um, but yeah, we can go and unlock some tainted characters today. So we'll be trying to beat the beast as much as humanly possible. Um, so I'm going to go in straight off the bat as um, little old Isaac, I think. And we're going to go and try and do the beast. And just see how it goes. We did obviously one tainted character the other day. We did Samson and managed to get Delirium killed. Pretty awesome. But yeah, we're just going to go in as Isaac. Try and get... Um, tainted Lilith is a fun one, to be honest. Um, we'll try and get Tainted Lilith at some point, yeah. We're going to go around and get all of them. But we're going to go with Isaac first off. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, so let's just jump in. And uh, yeah, if anyone wants to know what the Nuzlocke rules are, by the way, there's a command that does it. Just exclamation mark Nuzlocke. And it should print out most of the rules, I think. Either way, um, let's jump in as Isaac. We're going to be trying to go for a beast kill. Um... And just seeing what we can get right off the bat here. Um, I'm going to re-roll that. And I'm very happy with that as a re-roll. Unfortunately, not the absolute best item. But being able to see all of our secret rooms does help a hell of a lot. Um, that's a bit of a strange one there. Um, yeah, being able to see all our secret rooms does help a hell of a lot. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. Um, and by the way, I do have some enemy re-sprites on at the minute. You're going to see spiders are a little different. Gapers are a little different. Horfs are a little different. They're all just minor sort of visual improvements. They're not really huge re-sprites, but they look a lot better in my opinion. I like them. They're cool. Uh, what characters are currently dead? Azazel and Judas. Judas died in his very first run. And Azazel, we tried to do Mother when we very much were not ready to do Mother. It did not work out too well for me, unfortunately. Um, so we did unfortunately lose both of those. Azazel's a really sad one to lose because um, he should not be as easy to lose as he was. He's a very, very easy character in general. I just, I overcommitted to the mother path. I went to Mausoleum when I did not have enough health. And it screwed me. It's my own fault. And I have to live with that fact. Judas, we just got one of the worst runs I've ever seen. So that was just kind of like, whatever. Um, a little bit of money here. That's always nice on the first floor. I can go to our shop. We don't have an XL flaw here. This is just a generally big flaw. Um, okay, so something interesting here. The mod actually resprites flies, but I didn't really like the fly, the, the fly resprites, so I've removed them from the mod, but it seems to have not worked. Maybe the mod updated since I did that. Either way, hello. Thank you for the follow indeed. Thank you for the follow. Um, we'll, we'll sort of evaluate if... Uh, we first need to see if we get the money, but we'll evaluate if any of those are worth it. I think jumper cables is certainly... Uh, Worthwhile. We've also got the fact that Isaac now holds the D6. We uh, unlocked that when we played Blue Baby for the first time, which is an incredible boon to Isaac's success. This should make Isaac significantly easier for us. Um, so that's very, very nice. Let's go in here. We're going to go find our second secret room as well if we can. I'm not going to use bombs for combat here. But yeah, the fly resprites, re the fr the fly resprites have not affected these flies. But the green flies are still affected for some reason. I thought I'd removed it from them all. Possibly I made a mistake there. So I'll have to go back and have a little look. Um, but yeah, whoever suggested going for Blue Baby for the Isaac now holds the D6. I thank you for that because I did not remember it was a Blue Baby unlock. And I didn't remember what boss it was. Um, honestly, before playing a new save file, I completely forgot it was even an unlock. So super, super happy to have uh, Isaac now holds the D6. It makes... My life a hell of a lot easier when playing Isaac. Because D6 is a really, really, really strong item. Really, really strong. Hey, Luke. How you doing, dude? Um, oh, just add some other drone animation. I had that as my first Samson run to, um, to Delirium. Oh, my God. The ultimate payout. Not only a huge fire rate upgrade, but a nice, chunky three soul hearts. Well, one of them's a black heart, but you know what I mean. That's pretty good stuff. Okay, this is kind of a kind of an annoying room. Take out the the regular pooters first. Deal with the other pooters second. Yeah, I kind of expected to get hit there. I'm stood in a really bad spot. Honestly, what I need to do is clear out some of these poops. I kind of wish I didn't take the soul hearts until I went to my cash room. It was a bit foolish of me. Oh my god, this room is brutal. This room is brutal. Okay, we got it. God damn, that was quite hard. Quite a hard room. Second secret room is right here. Good stuff. Oof. 
big oof. Unfortunately, completely useless for us right now. I will quickly destroy our poops here because we might be able to get enough money to buy those jumper cables. It's not super likely, but it's not unlikely either. God damn, we're getting so many red hearts right now. Yeah, I can imagine, Luke. I can imagine. That's some sad, sad stuff to see. Okay, unfortunately, nothing there. Remember, we are going to the beast, and we have already been there once before, so we do need to find and drop a trinket if possible. Um, it's obviously if we don't manage to get the take the character unlocked, it's not the end of the world as long as we don't die. That's the that's the main thing, really. Uh, but it'd be preferable if we can get the take the character unlocked as well. Okay, so got enough keys to get in there straight away. That's nice. Such a sick run down the drain. Ah, oh, what a shame. What a shame. Was that on your um? Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Was that on your uh, thingy as well? Your uh, Nuzlocke? Or was that just a regular run? Not the Nuzlocke. Okay, at least at least there's a silver lining then. If it was on the Nuzlocke, that'd be way sadder. Okay, having Fear Shot here is something I really don't care about. I mainly took it because um, it's a tier delay down. Not a tiers up. Tier delay down is different. Tier delay down actually breaks through the tier cap. So we can now go 0.5 above the tier cap of 5. I know it's not likely that we're going to break tier cap, but the fact that we now can is pretty positive. Uh, we got enough. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely buy this dude. I think he's pretty good. Do you Apple's Fool's Challenge? You won't. Exactly. I won't. I agree with you. I won't. <laughs> I'm not doing April Fool's Challenge until I unlock Golden Hearts. Golden Hearts for me is a hard requirement to do that challenge. That challenge is way easier once you unlock Golden Hearts. Don't call me a wuss. This is this is Nuzlocke. Normal rules don't apply. You gotta play. You gotta play like an absolute pussy in this mode. You gotta play for the win, and you gotta try and get every victory you possibly can. There ain't no being a wuss in, in Nuzlocke. It's all about survival. All about survival. Thank you. Boom, boom, bow. There is three of these. Of course, they're all range downs. Tears up, look down. Okay, I'm, I'm, I lost my range, but I'm happy. You've made me happy, game. Okay, lots of keys. The game really wants to force this key experience on us right now. It, dude, it's okay from time to time, and I don't care if it's like one to two lines, but it just, it, it, Nico, the, the only time it's like really truly annoying is when you're typing a lot of messages and flooding the chat. If it's just like, good point actually, sorry, that's, that's not really a problem. It's, it's mainly when it's, like, flooding the chat. Exactly. I didn't even, I didn't, honestly, I didn't even notice that Rogue Luke had been doing it that much. Because he's not really flooding the chat. It's only when someone's really flooding the chat that it's noticeable. And it puts other people off talking as much. So, that, that's the only reason I say it. Like, I like people messaging in chat. I don't want to discourage people uh, talking and messaging and leaving comments and stuff like that. It's just when it's spam. It's, it's when it's when it's hard for other people to get involved because you're the only one talking. But yeah, I, I bought Battery Baby here because we're going to get extra battery drops from time to time. Also, the random stun chance. It's only low, but it is useful. Um... And yeah, I think I think this should be a pretty good run. And also we've got an okay chance at a secret room item here as long as we get bombs. Considering we'll be finding every secret room easily. Of course, we're not going to go Devil Deal. Devil Deal is a bad idea on this run. Hoping we can get some HP going. We've actually managed to get just an insane amount of tier rate so far. We're already over tier cap. Do you know how I was saying at the start of the floor? I don't know if we'll get to tier cap. Well, we're already over tier cap. So that's kind of insane. Um, But we, yeah... We haven't actually had the opportunity to use D6 really much. We've been getting really good items. Really good items. So that's, I mean, that's a that's a great thing. Um, is that the Radgun sound effect? Yes, it, indeed it is. My sub sounds are all based on the Radgun. I might take damage here. I think Fear Shot actually just saved me. Uh, 
There's a battery already. Nice. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. Good, good. God damn, so many keys. Give me some bombs, god damn it. But yeah, the tier right here is really going to help us. Look at these little dudes. The little charges look a bit different. They look a bit more bubbly. The champions have eyes now. Strange times. Bomb here. Uh, I'm not going to take the experimental pill because it could give us a health down. Pretty good stuff right there. I saw your video on YouTube. Hey, thanks. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Been doing uh, Isaac YouTube for a little while now. Been enjoying it a lot. Um, and I'm glad to see someone coming over from the YouTube channel. Always appreciate it, man. Always appreciate it. Oh, ho, ho, look at that stun. Just the random chance. It's great. Doesn't always come in handy, but when it does, it's very noticeable. The fact that it can stun some bosses that can't otherwise be stunned as well is really nice. I'm really hoping we get a damage up here. This fire rate is insanely good, but if we don't get a fire rate up soon, it's definitely going to fall off. I didn't realize that other secret room we found was the second secret room, not the normal. I thought we found the normal secret room and this would be the second, but actually the other way around. There you go, a full battery just dropped as well. Sadly, we're not getting the best secret rooms of all time right now. Um, slightly annoying room here. I think we just got to deal with it. Okay. Yeah. We've actually got a lot more of the, uh, the spinny dudes than we do the normal worms. Champion one included. Okay, good. Another battery drop. This this is why Battery Baby is the best. He is just pumping them out. While he's feared, he can't shoot as well. That's kind of nice. Good thing, uh, one, one thing I really love about going to the Beast as well is you're not worried about time constraints at all. Time, time is not a factor. And I love that. Ta time constraints? I never used to worry about time constraints. Honestly, I used to make Boss Rush. 95% of the time when I had a run. But since Repentance, I've gotten a lot slower at this game. I think the game itself has just gotten more complex and more difficult, so you have to play it with more precision and more thought to, to actually win. So you end up being late to boss rush a lot more, or at least I do. I find myself being late to boss rush all the time. Yeah, I gotta say that room was pretty awful, but we got through it. I, I gotta say, I'd agree. I think Tainted, uh, Tainted Lazarus is bad, but not as annoying as, play, as playing as Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau are just straight up frustrating to play. Yeah, I was just about to say there's a good chance we get hit in this room. These enemies suck so hard. <laughs> They're really difficult to predict. It's just the fact that they don't jump with any rhyme or reason. They just decide to jump. No magic mush, sadly. Uh, it hurts is a reroll. We've got plenty of batteries about, so I'm going to just reroll it. Okay, let's keep on going through. Sadly, we're getting some really annoying rooms here. It got you as well. Yeah, really annoying rooms indeed, actually. These enemies are quite tanky and uh, they're kind of everywhere. As you can see. Luckily, once I fear one of them, I know which one I've fired at, so I can keep on target, which is kind of nice. Uh, ooh, champion belt would be really nice if we can manage to afford that. We really do need the damage. If not, I'll buy the soul heart. Um, do I take devil or angel? Angel deals are always better. We'll pick that up for the uh, the bookworm, but otherwise it's not very good. I'm thinking that uh, unfortunately we're not gonna get um, we're not gonna get what's it called on this floor. Uh, can't remember the name of what I was going to say now. We're not going to get a champion belt on this floor. Like, there's just nowhere to gain money. Unless we use the Anarchist Cookbook in the, um, in the shop to bomb our donation machine. But I don't think that's a great idea. Contagion is not the best. But honestly, we can't use any more rerolls. We've used so many already. Um, 
I'm just going to take Contagion. It's decent. It's not going to help us on Beast, though. you got to think there's a lot of items that don't really translate well to the Beast fight. So you can't really say, oh, my run's so great, I've got this, when actually... Once you get to the beast, that, that item isn't going to matter in the slightest. That's that's something I feel like a lot of players don't really consider. It's like, for example, if you've got a guppy run, or uh, actually a guppy run isn't a good example. If you've got an infestation 2 run uh, where you're getting just an, a hell of a lot of spiders, they're useless against the beast because they all just hover in the lava and deal no damage. So you're like, infestation 2, this is like most of my damage. I'm killing stuff all the time. And even in the beast fight, yeah, there's enemies spawning. Enemies are, are all over the place, and you're actually getting quite a lot of kills, quite a lot of spiders. But they just chill in the lava. You can't actually get any actual real damage with them, so it ends up uh, it ends up not actually being worth as much as it would on a room clear or even just a boss fight. And I think that's something that, that a lot of people don't consider with the beast fight, especially mother's similar in some ways. Um, like you never want to fight uh, mother if you have certain items. Ooh, that black art loss is a bit upsetting. Uh, I, I, I'm actually getting really annoyed that he just keeps jumping on top of the wall. Like, can you just stop? <laughs> um, unfortunately, not a great item to reroll. Uh, how do you get Dead God? Um, how do you get the Dead God thing? Oh, I, I got Dead God uh, normally. Sacred Heart, that's pretty good. Um, I guess we'll take the range up now. Um, I got I got Dead God normally uh, via via normal means, and uh, then if you go onto an, a completely blank save file and you go onto the stats menu and click Alt um, F2, it translates all of your Steam achievements to the secrets in game and unlocks all the secrets, therefore unlocking every single item in the game, but without actually adding any of the completion marks. But you have to have all Steam achievements to do it. You can't do it without having all Steam achievements. But yeah, Sacred Heart here, especially with the fire rate we've got, puts us in an excellent spot. Contagion there, proving itself to be quite useful. This room, proving itself to be annoying. But yeah, essentially... As long as we get more HP, this run is super beast worthy. The one thing I'm worried about is we still don't have a trinket. And we can't we can't do our what we want to do without a trinket. So that's kind of upsetting. But other than that, this is good going. Definitely gonna reroll that. I'm 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 gonna reroll that as well, to be honest. Midas touch is good, but again, it does nothing for us when we get to the beast. Uh, we're gonna bomb through here as well. Pretty good. Shot speed up and the fire rate will count as well, as you just saw, taking us above the fire rate cap. I did get hit there because I was reading chat, I'll admit. I do like it when you've got less angel items unlocked, so things like Sacred Heart are more common. But in turn, Breath of Life is also more common, so you win some, you lose some. Okay, let's be careful here. A lot of spikes about, a lot of spikes about. Just feel it would be a waste to just get rebirth, but I also don't want to waste 50 bucks. I don't, don't want to spend... Honestly, I would just wait until you can save up and get the whole bundle. Like, rebirth on its own is fun, but the... Oh, really? The true experience is in uh, is in playing the whole lot. It really is. There's a trinket, finally. Good stuff. Okay, keep this moving on. Of course, we uh, don't have any soul hearts anymore. That so is is that so? I meant what? What? The yeah, fire rate is like absolutely kicking it now. It's good. It's, it's great. Boom, boom, bow is what I'd say about this. And we're killing stuff so fast as well. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I was so ready for it and I tried to avoid it, but I was too late. I was too late. Cool. 
Hey, it's a decent secret room. Especially with one of these bad boys. Didn't actually get anything decent out of it, but there you go. Uh, we do want to go back and quickly reroll our um, item room again. Uh, by the way, for those of you that don't know this, or those of you that don't practice this at least, um, in general, item rooms are your lowest yield reroll. So I don't really pr practice this myself as much as I should, but I, I really should uh, make an effort to more. But if you're going to spend a reroll, your um, your item room pool is by far the worst place to spend it because there is by far, like far and away, the most items in the treasure pool. Meaning that you have the highest chance of re-rolling into something that's not very good. Whereas if you're using your boss pool, or your devil pool, or your angel pool, you've got a much higher chance of getting something that you actually want. Example A. <laughs> getting Samson's heckin' chain. An item that I will never voluntarily pick up. Someone just remind me to make sure I drop my trinket on depths one. I'm gonna keep I'm, I'm gonna keep it, but I wanna keep it till the end of depths one at least. Magic 8 Ball shot speed is actually pretty good for us right now. Um a hero font card is even better, I'll be honest. Um we've already got a fool card as well, so we don't have to worry about that. I can use the blood machine a lot now. I suppose I could have done, but I don't wanna waste my health too much. I won't say waste, but I don't wanna sabotage my health too much. So many keys, so much money. Please say we can go to our shop this floor. And please say it's not Ultra Greed. The fact that you can get Greed and then straight after get Ultra Greed still frustrates me. More bombs is great when we're finding all these secret rooms. Same room back to back, you know how it be. Pretty much the same room at least. Little battery. That was close. More keys, goddamn. <laughs> there are two of them. Hello, my brother. <laughs> the two charcoalers. Charcoal and charcoal. Okay, we'll buy whatever this is. Jar of flies, unfortunately not worth it. At least we get to re-roll it. Into wooden nickel. At least we get to re-roll it. That's at least decent. We now have the ability to drop one trinket and keep the other, which is rather nice. We also got the Yes Mother transformation, which is kind of just whatever, but there you go. Second secret room, good, good. Honestly, the ability to find secret rooms like this is so valuable. I love it. Really? You just popped out a smaller chest? And we got Squeezy. Hello. Unfortunately, no fire rate, but two soul hearts is good enough for me. Why does Yes Mother suck so much? Basically, unless you've got Nod, Nod Leaf, Yes Mother is such an ass um, thingy. Such a terrible um, transformation. By the way, the, the, the Laos Trinket. Let me just check something. Um, chance to spawn a spider while in a hostile room. Okay, it just, it happened on the contagion far. I maybe thought there was a correlation there, where, like, it, it's Laos spawned a spider upon a fart, but it's, it's just upon entering a hostile room, which makes it a lot less useful, <laughs> I'll be honest. But yeah, the Black Tooth will definitely end up keeping that. I think it's a pretty good trinket. It's extra damage, it's poison. The Tooth Shots do, like, three times damage. All in all, pretty good trinket. This is depth two, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, sorry, no, depth one, sorry. So we can go in here pretty simply and fight the tankiest boss. This Honestly, Gish is so tanky for where he shows up in the game. We've got Sacred Heart and look how, look how well he's standing up to it. Gish is so tanky. Little Gish, little Gish. Sadly, rerolls aren't going to do anything for us here. Very nice. 
We do at least get one step closer and get a reroll. That's good. More damage. Okay. So we drop a trinket in here. We're just going to drop the uh, the louse trinket. I don't really care about that. Let's go find our item room. And I de this is a very, very good run for unlocking Tainted Isaac. I'll say that for sure. Why does your mum suck so much? Oh my. Oh my. Let's see what we can get in our item room. Ooh, there was uh, the thingy back there. Managed to get a lot of health this floor. That's always nice. Got a mini boss here as well. Little old pride. Little old pride. Let's go check out that uh, secret room. Get ourselves our key. Boom bow. It is an actual item. It's definitely the R key. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> He's clairvoyant! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the absolute shit? The man's clairvoyant. I can see the future. Right. We need to try and do... I'm kind of sad because we're not going to get many more angel deals and we've had so many chances to get Mega Satan uh, to get the uh, the key pieces and I've just not even given it a second thought. Um, we need to try and do Delirium. So we got to go negative we take the negative okay we're just gonna try and do delirium this run's definitely capable oh skull you missed you missed something amazing that just happened i don't i don't know if you missed it but holy fuck it i i just i just walked I, before walking to the secret room i was like this secret room will have the r key and then i walked in and it was a question mark item because you've got cares of the blind and I was like, definitely going to be the Arky. And it was the Arky. What the fuck? It was actually the Arky. Oh my God. It was actually the Arky. What the hell? <laughs> Someone better clip that. That was amazing. I'll definitely be taking that out of the stream. That was the best thing ever. Oh my god. It was like, the fact that it was Curse of the Blind as well and it ended up being the Archie too. That was just perfect. Okay. Um we might as well pick this up now because we're we're gonna go beast on the second way around. We're not gonna go first time around instead. Um So we are gonna dip on down. Twenty four minutes in, this has been a slow run. Uh, do you know what? I'll leave it anyways, so the louse is kinda shite. So we'll dip on down. Ooh, ooh, I just I just came to a, a pretty a pretty shitty realization actually. Um I gotta really speed up. Cause if I wanna make hush, I've gotta like pummel through these floors real fast. Get him. We got some money there apparently. I should go back and get that. It sounded like a lot of money. It was a lot of money. So yeah, I kind of got to speed through this right now. It's already a banging run and then we get the R key. Nope. The R key does not reset your timer at all. We might not end up being able to get many extra completion marks out of this. We can at least go um, Light Path. Go to, uh, go to Blue Baby. We'll go in here. Why not? Sadly, I made a mistake. Yeah, because we're probably not going to make hush, unfortunately, which means that uh, getting getting delirium is just going to be chance based. Because there's just no way we make hush in this amount of time. I I just can't believe I got Aki. Then, like the predictor, he returns. He returns. I just can't believe it. It's mental. <laughs> I 
I've had some I've had some lucky guesses in my day, but like guessing the R key there was pretty impressive. I'm getting a lot of hits right now. Yeah, we, there's literally no way we make hush. Let's just take our time this floor. Do our due diligence. Go find our item room and stuff. Get into the soul heart. Oh, God. I'm sure that someone out there... There's plenty of people out there that um, that don't look up guides and don't watch videos in the game and just play. And I'm sure there's some people out there that have gone into a secret room after finding out what they were, found a secret room, got the R key and gone, oh, what does this do? And used it on, like, Depths 2 or, or like, Basement 2 or something and gone, uh, right. <laughs> I'm sure there's a few poor souls that that's happened to already. I am, I am like hover fingering right above the space bar. I'm getting nowhere near that space bar key. I do not want to accidentally press it. I've never done it, but I, I know that there's, I have the capability within myself to do it. So. Oh wait, we've only got the negative. We haven't unlocked the Polaroid yet. That complicates things. Oh, wait, I wouldn't say it complicates things, but it, it does make my plan a little worse. I will take that, however. Um, hey, thank you very much for the follow. We go down. Isaac Gang. Indeed, this is the Nuzlocke. Uh, basically, Nuzlocke is a brand new save file, but if a character dies, they die forever. If they die, that, that's it. They're gone. We can't play them ever again. And it's 10 points per completion mark, 1 point per secret, 5 points per challenge. We're trying to get as many challenges as we possibly can, uh, as many points as we possibly can. So far, we've only lost two characters, and we're in the midst of unlocking the tainted characters right now. It's a very big challenge, uh, very difficult stuff, but we are on an absolute banger of a run right now. Sacred Heart, I just fucking randomly guessed that Arky would be in a secret room, and it was there. It was amazing. I've shocked myself. So we are going to have to go um, to the lamb here. But we haven't done the lamb as uh, as Isaac. We have done Satan, unfortunately. We haven't done the lamb, so we're at least getting an extra completion mark there. i got to say, Sacred Heart with 5.5 is pretty amazing. I would love to get Delirium, but it, we're, we're basically just at the whim of the game to whether we get to go to Delirium or not. This is definitely a Delirium capable run is all, so I just, I really would like the chance. Black out there, nice. And then after this run, after the R key run, we're going to go to um, the Beast and unlock Tainted Isaac. Because we don't have Tainted Isaac unlocked yet. But this is going to be a fun run. It's going to be a fun run. This is already a very powerful run, and it's only going to get more powerful. I will take a one-heart deal. Contract from below is pretty decent. I'll take it. Uh, working on 100% Isaac, missing 437 achievements, which is nice. Okay, you're doing pretty decent. Uh, how long have you been playing for? I've, I've already got Dead God on my normal save file. This is like my second save file, really. Missing 47. Okay. That's a lot better. <laughs> I thought you'd only been playing a little short, like a short while, and you were um, a few hundred in, but that's a lot better. <laughs> Missing 47 is pretty good. Okay. Ooh, thanks for the soul heart, dude. Makes a difference. Boom, boom, boom. So, we, we've got the negative, we take Dark Path, make sure we take Dark Path, we kill um, the lamb, and, hey, hello, we kill the lamb, and then, um, we do, uh, what's it called? Uh, Aki. By the way, um, o o Octillion, is it? Octillion Z, yes, uh, one of the daily challenges literally cannot be completed at all, it's glitched. Um, the the Broken Crown, I believe it's called. 
um, the Cracked Crown or whatever it is. It like it literally cannot be completed. It's completely bugged. It's one of the daily challenges. You have the only way you can beat it is um, all right. See you later. Uh, Octillion, there you go. Um, but yeah, um, it's completely bugged. You cannot complete it. The only way to get Dead God is by using Steam Achievement e uh, Manager, which is like a achievement editor that lets you like cheat in achievements. It's what I did. It's unfortunate, but yeah, it's a bug. You can't avoid it. There's literally no way to complete the challenge until the game gets fixed or patched, which honestly, we've been waiting for a patch for four months now, so I wouldn't exactly count on it being soon. Um, <laughs> no offense to the developers, but it's been a while. So yeah, uh, I would uh, I would not bank on the patch being anytime soon. I'd just go and download the uh, the, the Steam Achievement Manager and uh, cheat it in because otherwise you can't get it, and that's a bit sucky. I think it's the one for uh, for beating five dailies in a in a row. I think that's the that's the one that's glitched. I ain't got a lot of soul hearts here. I don't know why, but I like it. Magic Mush. Magic Mush. Magic Mush. Damn it. Tainted Kane will get nerfed at some point, but I can't imagine it'll be anytime soon. Honestly, the, we've had two tweets now from Edmund saying the PC patch is coming, but both of them were about three weeks apart. So, we really have no inclination of when the patch is coming at all. It could be next week. It could be two months from now. We, we don't know. All we know is he said it's just basically going to be fixing stuff. It's not really going to be a... Fixing and nerfing stuff. It's not really going to be a, a content patch at all. That's all we know. Oh, well, yeah. The Alabaster Box nerf was, was kind of one, but not really. Tainted Kane is still insanely busted in every single way. And subsequently, insanely boring in every single way. I, I literally, I haven't pl Since I beat his completion marks, I have not touched him once. Because he's just not fun. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> okay, so make sure to go down here. Gotta remember to go down. The damage we do in is pretty amazing. Devil deal. Unfortunately, neither, neither thing I want there. Go down. It Honestly, Charcoal, it wouldn't. <laughs> Have you ever played Tainted Cane without looking up the recipes? It is horrible. Basically, you end up with runs that are just gross. You, you end up with runs that are just like have zero power and you end up making a lot of crap. It's, you think it would be good, but no, it's it's it's, it's really not. <laughs> it's really not. Uh, the only Tainted character I play is Tainted, Lost, and Forgotten. Uh, tainted uh, is Isaac, Lost, Keeper, and Forgotten. Okay, that's fair. I, I mean, I think a lot of them have merit. I don't think there's that few of them that have merit. I think, I think all of the Tainted characters are really good. There's only like three of them I really don't like. Tainted Eden, Tainted Cain, um, and Tainted Jacob. Tainted Lazarus, I don't enjoy, but I, I do see his potential. And I think with the rework mod, which is what I use, he's actually pretty fun. Um, but that is with a mod, so... I, I play with a lot of mods, by the way. Uh, on, on the Nuzlocke, I don't play with any content mods. On my regular YouTube save file, I do play with a decent amount of content mods. Four or five. Nothing major, just... Ones like um, t t uh, Tarot Cloth Plus, which uh, fixes Tarot Cloth not having some effects on certain cards and stuff. Um, it's just small, minor gameplay things. Um, but yeah, if, you, if, if anyone's watching that, that didn't know, um, I, I mean, I'm sure most of you do, but I do have a, a YouTube channel where I do daily Isaac content. Got hit twice there by one Brimstone Beam. Big sad. I, I, still, I still, I still really, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I... I really don't find Tainted, uh, Tainted Forgotten, like, that bad at all. In fact, I think he's really, really fun. Like, I don't think he's that hard, and I don't think he's that bad. Like, I, I just, I don't know. It, it, it's strange to me. I know that everyone has their different preferences and play styles, but 
Yeah, I gotta say, I find him really, really fun, and I find him pretty dang powerful. Like, I, I, I think I've, I think I've only died as Tainted, uh, Tainted Forgotten once so far. Oh, I'm a stupid idiot. For some reason, I just assumed that brimstone was mine, even though it very clearly wasn't, because I, I don't have anything that produces a brimstone beam, so... Don't know what the hell I was thinking. One, two, three. Got him. Boom, bow. Why did we gain seven damage upon killing that guy then? Oh, uh, it was our succubus radius, wasn't it? Okay, we got him. Let's go. I'd say Tainted Samson definitely gets annoying as it goes on, but Tainted Lilith and Tainted Forgotten, at least for me, I really don't find that at all. Got some really good shit here. Um, because this is a two-heart deal, I won't be able to take this if I take that. But this is really good on the beast. I've got to take this first. Do you know what? I'm taking them both. I'm taking them both. It's a risk, I know, but... If things go really bad, just Arky. By the way, we have the mod on called Unique Sins. You're going to notice that the Sins have different skins on this floor than they normally would. That's because of the mod. Also, the doors are different. There's all sorts of stuff going on. Go away. Don't come again another day. There you go. Damn, we've been getting unlucky with secret rooms ever since Arky. Nothing's really hit hit the nail on the head for me. Oh no. This boss on this tile set is the worst. The feet that he puts down are just invisible. You just gotta pray to the gods that it doesn't land on you. Okay, good. Sadly, no chest drops yet, but we do have minus one looks. So I suppose that makes sense. Lots of bombs, though. Is the uh, Dark Satan Doll also a mod? Yes, it is. This is going to be a rough room. We're probably going to get hit in this room. Okay, actually we might be okay considering we got one of them early. Yeah, nice one. It, that room just looked very rough, but we actually... Oh, we're definitely taking damage in this room. Holy shit. Oh my god. Not only did we not take damage, we found the secret room. That is a that is a bonus and a half, that. Contagion being amazing there. Okay, we did manage to set off one brimstone beam and kill one of them, but the other one eludes us. Pop this. Not really necessary, but there you go. See if we get delirium. No, thank you. No delirium. We are key. We run it back. Time to go to the beast. Time to go for the beast. This game, she loves me.
Yeah, it's really good. It's good with the Giganta Bean as well, whatever it's called. The one that makes the fart clouds really big. I was debating not taking Tech X because it does ruin Ocular Rift. But at the same time, Tech X Herning with lots of damage sounds like fun to me. Honestly, let's leave a trinket here just in case it doesn't work normally. We don't need that trinket at all. Lost Persa. Dead boy. I, I, I have no idea what caused me to get this. No idea what caused that. Nice. Don't know if that actually works with this. Oh, it does. Oh, God, it's really good. It's really good. Check on this. The Eraser. I mean, we might as well pick up the Eraser. No harm in it. The same secret room as last floor. Nice. Beautiful one shot. Um, I will take this because we're on our way to Guppy. Might as well try and get Guppy if we can. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Atomic Crow. Very helpful. I don't have any bombs. I went to place that down. It did not work. Oh, wait. Uh, Ocular Rift does still work. Great to know. I didn't think it would. I did not think it would. Hey, that's rather nice. Uh, again, no bombs though, so... Fuck me, I guess. Yes, it gave me a bomb. I thought it would. Fuck you, walking hosts. <laughs> Get out of my face. Boom, boom, bow. So much money. I like uh, the money. But yeah, we're stomping through at the minute. Of course we are. This run was already great, and then R keying it up is just going to make it even better. Ramming speed. Honestly, I'm just happy about the speed up. The ramming speed part of it is not really that influential to me. Soul Heart is necessary. Don't care about anything else. And boom. It's a trinket. Why not? There's no point not taking it, really. Beautiful. Oh, look at that damage. Perfection. Hey, oh, I like a bit of perfection. Indeed, I do. Indeed, I do. Just make sure we don't forget our fool card. That's really the takeaway. Do not forget the fool card. Okay, good. Oh my god, the damage. Sissy! Yes! Sweet baby sissy. Hey Turtle, uh, don't forget your full card, just letting you know. Thank you. <laughs> Drink it smelter. I will definitely smell plus 10 luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. In fact, I'm going to keep this. Definitely want the bombs. 
Wait, does the look go, not go away? Nope, it sticks. Now that it's been smelted, it sticks. Did we go in the secret room already? Am I stupid? Maybe. Okay, we didn't. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure it sticks. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll find out soon, I'm sure, but. I always thought it sticked. Nope, it went away. You're right, it went away. Good to know. Good to know. Ah, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Go ahead, rather nice. Krampus, fancy seeing you here. I, I, I always thought that if it was smelted, it was stuck. We definitely need more health before we do the beast, but we do have nine lives. Nine lives does make things easier. The eye spore thing, I saw whatever it's called, that's firing the extra shots is so good. It's firing so many. Where's our secret room set game? Don't really need a golden key. Don't really need no golden keys. Light it up. And um, I think this is secret room. Oh no, I missed it. I'm sorry. It's there. Steam sale. A little bit late, but better late than never, I guess. Well, this is a combo and a half. Keep pushing forward. See if we can get some health out of this bad boy. I haven't unlocked wooden chests yet, so no wooden chests for us. Let's play this, dude. Dude's always a little bit of a pain to uh, free without killing, but there you go. See if we can get a health upgrade off of him. I think that'll be quite helpful indeed. God, I, we're going to feel so underpowered on our next run. <laughs> nice one. The cork, there you go. That's that bad boy. Loki's horns, rather nice. Double nickels. Okay. Good damage there. Don't know what we've got here. Oh, uh, pins, of course. Who else but pins? Don't want the cast skull, no thank you. This room again. Not much else we can do this floor. Let's go grab the smelter again. Schmelty, schmelty. And this is not the full card floor. Depth's one. Full card is next floor. Speed up again. The only speed is up. Just a swift bit of guppy, that's all. Swift bit of guppy, you know. Just to make the run that moochious little bit more powerful. Just got to look for that fool card. Oh, double luck pennies. Nice. Just got to look for that fool card. Keep your eyes peeled, people. Keep your eyes peeled. No, thank you. Nothing there. Nope. Nothing here. God damn. Tech X creates so many flies. It's kind of insane. Mm. 
boom a boom. Isn't this a sweet run? Not in this room either. SMB super fans, pretty fucking good. There it is, we found it. We got it. We even got another card there as well. Um, more option doesn't do anything at all for us here, so why take it? I gotta say, there's been a lot of pills, but I felt no need to take them, really. I have to admit. I felt no real need to take them. Uh, I'm gonna play this guy again. Like, got no real need use for my money, uh, apart from the mausoleum next floor, but ignore that. Um, and we could easily get a health upgrade out of this guy, so why not? Portable slot. Not quite what I was looking for, dude. Not quite what I was looking for. Incubus, Incubus. Pull the card out. And away we go. Away we go. Guys, do you think I'm going to be able to unlock Tainted Isaac? What do you think? What do you think? Think I'm able to beat the beast? Pretty tough run. Lead pencil there. This is a tough one. Truly it is. This is an XL floor or something. Can you even get XL floors in this? Just don't, it seems to be a very large floor. Dry baby, dry baby. Nothing there for us. We have 37 keys. I feel like we should play this guy a little bit. He can... This guy can... Oh, he's killed himself. Doesn't matter. I was going to say, that guy can drop Sci-Fly, but he killed himself. My first ever time getting Sci-Fly was from him. Joker? What does that even do on this floor? It does indeed give us something. Nice. Liberty cap, why not? Yeah, Edmund's also nerfing side fly. I know, I know, but it needed it. It's 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 honestly absurd. The fact that it makes you completely immune to all uh, projectile damage is just kind of stupid. It makes it makes all of the end game bosses a literal joke. Oh, rubber flam doesn't even work with this. That's upsetting. I will grab that, though. Don't remember where we left our trinket, but... I think he's just going to add a delay. He's just going to make it so that it can't... Um, it can't do uh, its effect as often. He's just going to add, like, a 0 0.5 second delay to it blocking bullets. So it can, it can just... It can block some, but not all. Even a 0 0.1 second delay would be enough. Okay, I am going to full clear these just, just to try and remember where I dropped my uh, trinket because I honestly have no idea. Also, we might be able to get some extra health. By full clear, I just mean mainly find the item room. But in this case, in this case also full clear. Because we might be able to do this. And get some extra health. Speed up and fire it up. Both stats that are maxed. Literally two items that did absolutely nothing for us, but thank you. Oh, tinted rock. Yeah. 
here. Another tinted rock. Beautiful health. I love it. Keep her going. Health is very spicy right now. Remember we get three health from um, our thingy room as well. I, I definitely know I dropped a trinket on basement one. I'm fairly sure I dropped a trinket on basement one. Please, please just get up. Thank you. Blew up all those mushrooms. Let his light inside you cleanse your soul. Wow, killed that tainted enemy in one hit. Was it not Louse in the depths? I thought I thought I dropped Louse on um on basement one. Because I originally dropped it on depths when I picked it back up, didn't I? Oh no no, I did drop it, but that was before the R key, so it doesn't count. I dropped the dead tooth on basement one. I I, I better fucking hope I did, otherwise we're kinda screwed. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. They don't work. I have a fix for that, a mod that fixes that, but that isn't enabled right now because that technically counts as a gameplay mod, so I can't use it on the Nuzlocke. Up to full health, nicely, nicely. Nice bit of money. Okay. Basement one, we should have something dropped right here. There you go, there it is. There it is, the cracked key. Stapler, noise. Gimme Sci Fly, I don't need it, but I want it. Come on, you bitch. Do it. Do it for Papa. Do it for Papa. Hey. Hey, now. What kind of sick joke is this? Rain worm, rainbow worm. Seems like an interesting combo. But yes, we got our cracked key. You've never seen a key bump pay out. They changed them in uh, in Repentance. They're, they, they pay out a bit more often now. Let's go. Rainbow worm. Yes. And now, I spent the three hearts on either the occult, but who cares? Because we get to heal in the dead. What's the Binding of Isaac Nuzlocke? Binding of Isaac Nuzlocke is essentially playing a brand new save file, but if a character dies, they cannot be played as again. And every completion mark, every challenge, every secret is worth points. Ten for a completion mark, um, in hard mode that is. Uh, one for a secret, five for a challenge. We're trying to get as many points as we possibly can. But as I said, if a character dies, that's it. You can no longer play as them ever again on that save file. All of their completion marks you didn't get are locked from getting. Oh. The red key. I've never had the red key after having it the initial time. But we just got it. I didn't know that could happen. Apparently it can. Intriguing. Are you ready to see a boss get demolished? This is an R key run, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know, so... We, we're doing bits. We're doing bits. That's interesting. Also, Darker Hell mod for the win. Looks awesome. 
I have the occult held him in place. Where do you think you are running off to, buddy? Where do you think you are running off to? Got him. No war. No. Stand back, war. It's not good for anything. War, what are you good for? Death. Poor sissy. I know. Sissy's just chilling in the lava, but she's having a blast. She's having a blast, though. It's fine. She's living her best life. Well, this has been tough. You can't say what a well-made boss on this run, dude. You have to admit, this, this, this run would kill literally anything in seconds, no matter how well-made it was. That'd be really cool, the hookworm. <laughs> but there you go. We have successfully beaten that, and we've unlocked Tainted Isaac. I will say Tainted Isaac can be kind of tough. Um, spin down dice is delirium with Tainted Isaac. So now we move on, and we try and get... Um, let's have a look-see. Uh, I don't know, because, like, I don't care about Kane. Um, I don't care about, I, I can't play Judas, don't care too much about Blue Baby, don't care too much about Eve, already got Samson, can't play Azazel, don't care about Lazarus, don't care about Eden, Apollyon or Maggie, I think. Let's go Maggie, let's just go and do a Maggie run straight off the bat here. We've not got too much time for this stream left anyways, because obviously that first run took up a mighty long amount of time. We've got to be careful here. This is an XL floor, meaning that we uh, very much could lose our deal with the devil on this first floor. Really hope we don't, but we definitely could. We certainly could. And we certainly will. Sad room. Oh, no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he's finessed it. He's finessed it. I have died to that room before. I have had streaks end to, to that room. Okay, let's let's not fight the Clotty until last, shall we, if we can help it? If we can angle shot him, then yeah, go for it, but otherwise, rather not fight the Clotty. We're angle shotting him from a distance, it's working somewhat. We got him, yes! The power player. Uh, uh, I will hit myself with these 100% guaranteed. I have a mod, again, that fixes them and stops them from being such bullshit. Instead of whichever direction you're walking, it's whichever, whichever direction you're firing. Makes them way more usable, but can't use that mod because it's a gameplay mod. We're playing Nuzlocke. It's got to be fair. This is a competition, so can't use gameplay mods even if they're really minor. Embrace the pain. They can be really good. Like, I'll admit, they can be really good. They just, they screw me more than they should. They screw me far more than they should. Second item room. This is kind of a weird one. 
I think Yum Heart's incredible, but I think Glowing Hourglass is a lot safer. Hey, look, new sprite for these dudes. They're looking cool. Although, one thing I will say is kind of sad. The resprited enemies is that some of them, the champion effect doesn't work on them. Yeah, sometimes you can't tell if they're a champion or not. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ho, 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 ho. Saved it. Saved it. Absolutely saved it. Fucking rocket bombs. Stupid ass rocket bombs. Still. Still. My god. Oh my god. Almost buggered it up again there. Oh god damn, it's such a frustrating item sometimes. At least there was less cursing that time, because I could undo it, that's why. I was able to literally undo the mistake. That lowers the amount of cursing by times 10. <laughs> oh, and also, it's really good on Consolation Prize as well. It, uh, the, the spin down dice makes Consolation Prize into uh, Revelation if you got that unlocked. So, pretty fucking good. Right, that time I embraced it. That time I embraced it. Speedball. Okay. This is a decent run so far. Item-wise, not the best, but health-wise, active item-wise, pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> Tom McCrow, you're totally right. The mod is so good. Literally, there's a mod that makes it so that the way that Rocket in a Jar works is it fires the bomb in the direction that you're currently firing, not the direction that you're currently moving. It's so good. Sadly, not great for us here. Check out the Devil Deal and then back the hell out of there if it's nothing interesting because now technically I've never been in the devil deal according to the game very top choice very top choice now we get to keep our angel deal going XL again are you kidding me do you want to just shaft my deal with the devils and angels please do you want to just give me like half the amount of devils and angel deals please that'd be really kind Yeah, you're also, you're also right with the item rooms. You can take a look in the item room if you don't like it. You can uh, go out, but that doesn't matter because we've had two XL floors in a row, so we won't be able to build planetarium chance. And it especially doesn't matter because of a really big thing I forgot. I don't have planetariums unlocked yet. <laughs> planetariums mean nothing to me because I don't have them unlocked. You have to find three st uh, consolation items in one run. Have not done that yet. Kind of forgot about that. Pretty, pretty big... Uh, Pretty big wrench in the plan there. Are you kidding me? That hit me. Very annoying room here. I have to say, I think the D6 is probably a little bit better.
already proven wrong. Do you know what? I'm strength carding in this room. Hell, I know it's stupid, but this room's a pain in the ass. I got them randomly on a greed run, uh, the consolation. Already forgot about it. Opened a secret room there. Fucking. Oh, God. Who would design such a fucking stupidly shit piece of crap item? Fuck you, rocket bombs. You're awful in every way. Also, I need stats, like, now. <laughs> I'm kind of getting bummed out about how low damage we, we have. That's why I took the D6, because I need the ability to get better shit. But look how long it's taken us to kill these fucking fat bats. God. Having a hard time. Having a hard time at the minute. Base damage, base fire rate on what is essentially Caves 2 is pretty pathetic. We do have another item room this floor that could change things. Fighting this enemy is depressing. Look how many shots it took to kill that bloody dude. Oh god. I'm just realizing now how depressing this run is right now. Oh, this run's really depressing. Oh, this run hurts my soul. It's always awful when you get to that point when you realize, hey, this run's shit. I've, I've essentially been through four floors and have no statistical increases apart from speed. And I just lost my soul heart to a fucking dip. I need this angel deal, so you better go away, you weird spider. I'm gonna save my D6 for the di for the boss just in case that's more worthwhile. Can I stop getting rooms with the tankiest enemies known to man? Please. God damn it. Kind of forgot I'd have to fight two bosses here. This is going to be so painful without bombs. He's going to spawn so many maggot. Oh, the, there's, there's literally no way we don't take damage here. Look at this. There's a... There's like a thousand maggots, and I can't deal enough damage to get rid of them before he spawns them. And he hit me. Fuck me. Goodbye, deal the devil. It's been nice. Yeah. Fucking. This run sucks so hard. We've lost Maggie. I, I'm calling it now. We've lost Maggie. Calling it now. We've lost Maggie. This run's trash. This run's auto trash. I can't even kill these maggots! Oh, I'm getting real frustrated now. Stop spawning stuff, you big shithead. I can't believe you hit me three times already. And one of them was for a full heart of damage as well. Yeah, stop spawning two at once, really. I'm not giving up, I'm just calling it. Like, I'm just predicting what's the, the end of this run. Like, basically, if we don't get a decent statistical upgrade, like a growth hormones or something from this boss, I, I really don't think we're going to be able to do it. I really think we're going to have a very, very hard time. Because we just, we're doing no damage at all. And it's essentially the fourth floor. And we don't have any bombs, because rocket bombs are ass. The D6 is really good, but it only helps us so much. Thank you for eating your children. 
Oh, God. Okay, that's that's a big help. That's a big help. Nice fire rate increase. Also, more maggots. Exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I got stuck on the rock. What the fuck? Game, fuck off. Breathe, turtle. Breathe, turtle. Fuck me. Look at my health. I've never had this much trouble on this boss. Because my damage sucks. Penis. Oh, my God. Meat. We have to take it. Of course, I didn't get the angel deal because we can't. That would be too easy. Welcome to maggot hell. <laughs> upsetty spaghetti is what I am right now. Big upsetty spaghetti. Oh, a double heart. That's very nice. I just, I, I'm hoping next floor isn't another fucking XL floor. Otherwise, I'm going to scream. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Can I please get an item that I'm allowed to take? That isn't an active. At least we got two statistical increases from our boss. Although one of them was very minor, it was also a HP upgrade, so I can't complain too much. In fact, both of them were HP upgrades, which puts us in a better spot in that regard, at least. But this is just upsetting. Seeing just how many flops we're getting. Big ol' flops. Take out you before you dive again, or just let you dive again. And before you dive again, good, good. An extra penny, that's something. Okay, so who's dead? Uh, the only people dead still are Azazel and uh, Judas. We've not had anyone else die yet. We unlocked Tainted Isaac in an amazing R key run that we just had. Okay, triple shot's pretty good. Still makes our fire rate pretty bad, but I'll still take it. Thank you very much for the follow. Inner Eye is a is a is a partial turnaround. It's not that good on its own, but it, it can snowball. Squeezy. Oh beautiful squeezy. Not only a fire rate up. Which was very necessary, but some lovely soul hearts. Some bombs as well. Just make sure we remember to, we, we've got fucking stupid ass rocket bombs. Just keep reminding myself. Back around for another reroll. Is there a reason why you decided to message that in chat? <laughs> because yes, what? I don't think anyone needed to know, to be honest. <laughs> Is there any reason to do any of the other rooms? We've been to our shop. I mean, I guess we could get some extra health out of these rooms. We might as well try them. Honestly, the fact that you typed it in chat makes me think that you really are. I'm... I'm... Sorry if that's a bit offensive, but 
I think only someone that's actually that would type that in chat. <laughs> so it's a bit odd. Fucking rocket bombs. Oh my god. Go and kill yourself, you stupid ass item. Oh my god. Please fucking go die. You stupid item. Oh my god. Fuck off, please. It's the worst thing in existence ever. Why do I ever pick you up? You are completely useless. You are a complete disappointment to your parents. Fuck you, rocket bombs. Fuck you. Let me place bombs like a normal human being. Guess what it is, guys? It's our favorite game, Curse of the Fucking Labyrinth. Get telefragged. Yes, please. Lose that angel deal. Yes, please. Are we playing the XXXL challenge right now? Are we game? Because it fucking well feels like it. I basically, currently, I am not committed to the beast at all. I am not committed to going to the beast in the slightest right now. This run is nowhere near good enough. We don't even have a trinket yet. And we need one this floor. Fuck's sake. No. 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 This fucking boss is bull. Okay, now you don't want a rocket bomb. Now you don't want a rocket bomb. All right, then. Fucking. <laughs> Why are these runs so just obscenely trash? It offends me with how trash they are. I need some health, game. Really looking for some health right now. Wait, what's going on in chat? I don't know what game you're referring to, but I probably haven't played it. Fucking brain hemorrhage soon. Uh, talking about na uh, night in the woods. I've literally never heard of that.
That hit me? Fucking Bernie genius dancer wizard fucktard managed to make his burn fly around the fucking world and back again to hit me. I did it. I planted a bomb without hurting myself. I feel so accomplished. Also, can we get rid of these enemies and like stop spawning them in every single room that I'm in, please? They're literally in every single room I've walked into so far. Can we, like, calm down with that? Fucking tears down. A fucking tears down. I was like, there's a few of these pills on this floor. I'm in a pretty desperate situation. I should try them. They could be a health up. <laughs> you thought Isaac could be nice. Oh, look, it's this boss that hit me three times in a row. Let's spawn two of them. I'm definitely so much more powerful now than when I fought this guy last time. Fuck you, chub. Fuck you, chub. Fuck you, chub. It missed. Fuck you, chub. I can't use my rocket bombs to hurt myself if I don't have any bombs. That's my logic. It rerolls items. We really need a miracle here. Also, how have we cleared this much of the floor and not found either of our item rooms yet? Yet another mystery that science cannot answer. You hit me, did you? Did you hit me? Did you hit me again? Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things are get brighter. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things are get brighter. As I sing with tears in my eyes. Fuck this run. Child, things are gonna get easy. Oh, child, things are get brighter. Where the fuck are my item rooms, you fucking cunt of a game? Fuck you. Oh my god. Oh, what is this room? What is this room? Why, Edmund? You floppy horse cock, why? Thank you for the heart, though. Piercing is pretty good. Pretty happy with piercing. I kind of need to play that dude, but I hate playing on the spikes.
Don't you love it when these enemies do that attack? They never do. Burza. <sighs> I gotta reroll it. And I'm so glad I did. I am so glad I did. Oh my god. It's kind of ironic that we got um that we got piercing then straight after we got piercing but you know what I'm going to play this actually The run is moderately alive <gasps> A soul heart oh my god a soul heart! Oh my god! The run! The revival! I don't actually know how it works. Uh, yes, it does actually. The poly, the poly shots don't lose size anymore. It's actually a pretty big benefit, you're right. The question is, can this run remotely beat the beast? Reap creep. Thank fuck that we got the items we just got. Otherwise, this would have been a nightmare. It still is a nightmare, let's be honest. But thank God we got the items we got. Otherwise, this would have been hell. And thank God we got the soul hearts as well. Okay, this is Brimstone Eyes, let's be careful. Ow. I think we gotta take it. Secret room between the item room and challenge room, by the way. Okay. I will go and try that out. Right. We've got a stars card. We can teleport out easily. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, you bastard globin. You bastard globin. Spawned in the worst spot then. Okay, this run has definitely turned around. Got negative. Do D6 on no balls. Have how many characters have been lost so far? Still only two. I don't think you understand the uh the 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 idea of a nuzlock Arowski. Or whatever your name's pronounced. Uh where do you say it is the secret room? You say it's here? Wait, I don't know. What word did you say it was? Uh, secret room is between the item room and challenge room. Mm, oh, I see, I see, I see. I was going to say no, it's not. We don't, we don't even have bombs, so I don't even know why I came back here. I'll be honest. This is a pivotal decision point. Does this run have what it takes to beat the beast? Pills, baby! So many pills! Balls of steel. That's really fucking good. Don't get hit by the fucking telefracking bitches. I'm drowsy is whatever. Infested. Another I'm drowsy. I could I could go to uh, Cathedral and fight Isaac. Y 
Yeah, but then I can't unlock a tainted character or Tomacra. What's the point in going to what's the point in going to the beast if I can't get the cracked key there? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh god damn. Thing is we gotta make the decision now. There's a trinket on the first boss room. Yeah, I know. I dropped it there, yeah. Okay, you're right. You're right. Let's let's just do Cathedral. Hey, Pedroff, we're having a disaster of a run that's just recently gotten a little bit better. Rocket in a jar has been seriously fucking us in the bum, but... We're pulling it through. We also had an Arky run earlier as well, which was pretty mental. I just wa walked into a cash room with Cast the Blind. Just before walking in, I was like, but it's the Arky. Walked in, saw an item, was like, that's the Arky. Bombed over the gap to get it, and it was the Arky. It was awesome. I really hope someone clipped it. I don't know if anyone did, but it was awesome. Yeah, okay. I've made my decision. We're, gonna, we're just going to go Cathedral. It's sad, but unfortunately, it's got to be what it's got to be. This run is nowhere near good enough. Atomic Roy, thank you very much for your help. You've been very helpful today. We can take this now again. But yes. Um, Paul, thank you very much. You're definitely right. Oh yeah, th this run is three XL floors in a row. Um, oh, this one's not an XL floor. Way to ruin the trend game. Imagine if it was four in a row, that'd be mental. Three in a row is also, he's already wild. I've never had three in a row before. But yeah, Polyphemus and uh, and Piercing has made this run a bit better. But still not great. Um, also, with Dr. Fetus. Rocket Bombs with Dr. Fetus is pretty amazing. But otherwise, yeah, I agree. You need to go and download the mod that fixes it, basically. Also, gonna call bullshit on that um, on that hit just there. He just kind of burrowed directly under my feet and hit me. I don't think that's okay. What the hell? Why are you jumping, fat boy? I am calling BS on some of these hits. Maybe one day we'll get a fucking angel deal. When I'm old and grey. I'm calling some fat BS on some of these hits. Chariot card. I think this is more valuable right now. Oh god. Oh god. Thank god we can kill these guys in one shot, otherwise this would be a problem. Actually, we can't. I lied. I thought we could. Damn right they do. Give me some health, game. Just give me some health. Just a little bit of health back, please. Not these enemies. Th this isn't health. These are annoying enemies that always hit me. Oh, the double soul heart drop. Thanks, game. Just a bit of the worst variant of champion blow. Goodbye, soul hearts. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. I am seriously ticked off right now. Gotta take the health for the healing. Hey, thanks, Dracula. Oh, yes. Oh, and a room full of lumps. It doesn't get better than this, baby. OK, 
Chaos of Darkness in a room full of lumps. It don't get better than this. Oh! Oh my god, we didn't take damage. How? I like the fact that I took the Arky. Like, yeah, this will be good. It got us Polyphemus, but otherwise it's been useless. We've not got to use it once. God damn lumps. My lumps, my lumps, my lumps. My lovely lady lumps. Check them out. One of them's explosive. Keep that in mind. This room's not all that. Thank you. Dark room full of sound like something you'd find in cartoons humanity. It really does. I think this seed isn't that bad. I've made a lot of mistakes, I'll be honest. But I've just, it's all culminating into uh, some, some tough shit. More lumps. Gotta love those lumps. Best enemy ever. Edmund, thank you for designing these just genius species. Oh, we need that key. Oh, no. BS damage incoming. Might be okay, actually. Yeah, we're okay. Need that key. Coming through, coming through. Fucking rocket bombs. Designed these pieces of AIDS. The lumps. Just some lumps to add to the mix. Yay. We're going cathedral. Oh my god, guys. Oh, what is that white door? Holy shit. Oh my god. What is this? Something magical's happening. <laughs> Something truly wondrous. Holy Light will be valuable if we can hit a Holy Light shot at any time in the future. Oh, that is a beautiful room. I thumbs up that, this room. Props for being a room, room. An angel deal on this seed? Oh my god. How could you? Look at the amount of batteries we're getting. It's like, use the D6, go on, pussy. Do it. <laughs> Find a way to use it. I dare you. That hit me? What a bunch of horse cock.
<sighs> Edmund Milne is in Turtles VC right now. Must be. Friends talking. So many little battery charges, God damn it! The game do be trolling. What the hell is this room? Two soul hearts again. It seems like it. You little bastard. You little fucking cock sucking piece of shit. It was worth it in the end. It was worth it in the end. I lost them already. I got another two soul hearts. The amount of red chest I've had that have paid out with two soul hearts since uh, womb one has been very high. <laughs> Alarmingly high. This isn't the right way? Where the fuck am I going? Tell me, Jesus. Guide me. How on earth is that the right way? What? Are you playing with my balls? What are you talking about? How is it over here? Why lead me on that wild ass goose chase? All the way to butt fuck nowhere and get me hit a bunch. You just walked right into me. Fucking look where you're going next time, you silly twat. Oof, this is a hard room. Especially when the holy light shots are like, no, 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 we do not, we no longer exist. Call again later. Okay. It took some sweet ass time, but we made it. Missed with that one, but it's fine. Ah, oh, the split shot got me. He's into his next form. God damn, that beam thing's so slow. Hate when my tear effects take a vacation. Sometimes it's like that though, isn't it? You'll have like the best tear effects and they'll be fucking crushing it. And like the next room they just won't activate at all. And they're like 95% of your damage. It's why I like fruitcake. Like fruitcake isn't reliant on luck or anything like that. It just happens all the time. Fruitcake is so good for that reason. Oh ho ho, almost fell into that void portal. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. The relic unlocked. My lordy lord, was that some serious spice right there. 
Right, we're going to do one more run today. One more run. I'm going to finish it off with an Eden run. Even though Eden, like, unlocking Tainted Eden's pointless because I don't like him. I still think he's a decent unlock nonetheless. I don't like playing Lilith, Nico. Lilith's boring as shit. We got one good run with her, but she's not fun. Eden, let's go. Do not screw me, game. Do not screw me. Oh, oh, oh day of days. Oh, joyous day of days. <laughs> Do you ever just start with Death's Touch and Book of Revelation? <laughs> and Shielded Tears. <laughs> oh, boy, boy. Oh, lordy, lord. The game has apologized to me. I'll say I tear it, fucking sucks, but I look terrifying. Holy hell, I do. You're right. I'm sans. <laughs> Yeah, lost, lost contact plus piercing is insanely good, you're right. Golden key? Doesn't really matter, but there you go. Uh, pretty sure secret room's just up here. It's not there? What? Hey, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. We just started up our Eden run and Anders lock. Last run was uh, dumpster fire. This run will be better. Sadly, though, we're probably not going to get many fire rate upgrades because we're going to be getting a lot of Cuba meats, but that's just the way it rocks sometimes. Honestly, on this run, I'd take soy milk. On this run, I would take soy milk, no joke. If it comes up, I promise you I'll take it. It means in before. Like, it literally just means what it says sort of thing. Yeah, Tira is, is really sad, but Shield of Tears is nice. Oh god, I knew I was getting hit there. I th what do you guys think? I kind of think I need to take Devil Deals this run. I'm going to have enough health from Booker Rev. What do you think? Jesus, Jesus, good. Yeah, what do you think?
I'll also get fewer HP ups. I'm going to check this one at least and see if it's worth it. I think that's worth it. Also works quite thematically well with Book of Revelations. And I got a mod that resprites the Harbingers to actually look like the Repentance resprites of the Harbingers. It's pretty good. Secret room wise, we're probably looking at like right here. I have to go for broke here. Don't know why I placed a bomb there, I'm not gonna lie. I placed it and then I kind of realized wait a minute, that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? <laughs> Hey, Seaminic? I don't know how to pronounce that. Seamin? Seaminic? I, I don't want to say the, the, what I'm trying to say because it sounds like I'm going to say something wrong. I'm just going to call you Seamin. Yeah, that'd be really cool, Atomic Crop. You're right. Atomic Crow, even. I don't know why I called you Atomic Crop. That's, that's, that's a different game. I just named you after a different game for some reason. Oh! Sweet baby Parasitoid Tears. Hell yes. Parasitoid Tears are amazing. Blessed Run. True. We do desperately need Fire Rate though. We're looking for like a, a, um, a Golden Chest Squeezy or Wire Coat Hanger really. But, Parasitoid Tears is an absolute carry of an item. The game really saying I'm sorry and gave me everything. I know. This is a true I'm sorry sort of run. The good thing is, when you have really low starting tiers, when you get a tiers upgrade, it's proportionally higher a lot of the time. Like, it's going to be a larger percent of your current tiers, so it's going to feel a hell of a lot better. One other annoyance of this run is Meat Boy and Bandage Girl literally can't deal damage to the beast enemies too, so getting a Bandage Girl is going to be sadly kind of pointless. Also, just took damage there to some horse shit. I kind of thought that would be a bit of a mistake, but... <laughs> uh, tears are quite the bottleneck now, I'd say. Dude, Charge Baby has shown up on every run so far. Every single run. So, earlier we played the XXXL challenge, now we're playing the Pong challenge. God damn, my tear rate's so bad. <laughs> I'm obviously going to take Spectral. I just, it doesn't matter that much, but not having to worry about things going over rocks is pretty good.
<laughs> our, our tier rate is going to be something tragic this run, though. Absolutely tragic. <laughs> it's going to be so bad. 0 0.58. Even with Brimstone, this would be bad. Sorry, donation machine, but it has to be done. It's tradition. We must re we must acquire charge, baby. It is tradition. He has been with us since the very start, since the very dawn of Nuzlocke. And he shall carry on with us into the future. <laughs> that shop item pool is more like a puddle. <laughs> I love that. Tell you what, though. Um, our, paras uh, our parasitoid flies and spiders are doing an ass load of damage whenever we get them. Really? The same room back to back? I definitely think they fucked up room generation in Repentance. That never used to happen in um, in Afterbirth Plus. You never used to get the same room twice in a row. And there's even more rooms in Repentance. So it makes very little sense, to be honest. It makes very little sense that that would be the way that it works. Deja vu. At the end of the day, it is a tears up. <laughs> it's a pretty big tears up as well. It would double our tier rate. I'm going to take it. Yeah, it literally doubled our tier rate. Completely worth. Considering the fact that we have, um, that we have spectral and piercing, I think it's worth it. Nah, I don't, I don't play with mouse settings. This is already feeling so much better. Oh, this is... This is feeling so much better. I'm so glad I took Mark. Honestly, I've been getting marked a lot recently in my streaks as well. I've recently had one of the best runs I've ever had in Isaac with Marked. Oh, this is so much better. Gimpy's definitely worth. Honestly, considering there's hearts in this room as well, let's just take Dark Bum too. Why not? <sighs> Speed up's decent. I like that. Speed up helps. Every little helps at the minute. Gimpy plus Dark Bomb is a really good synergy, actually. You're right. We're going to be getting a lot of red hearts off of Gimpy kills. And that's going to translate into uh, Dark Bomb giving us soul hearts. Very good synergy. You are very right. I'm choking one second. But we're in a position of just absolute health right now. We are the pinnacle of health.
And honestly, Lil Harbinger's just doing their absolute best right now. It's great. He's doing so well. Doing so well. I love him. This is Depths 1. Okay. Keep a going. We're just entering rooms and destroying them. And on top of that, never getting hit because of shielded tears. Finally, Gimpy pairs out. Go into our cash room, why not? We've got enough health. Uh. And at least chariot to get out. And then hanged man for whatever. Hanged man is for whatever. <laughs> Beautiful. Dark bomb giving us a pill. Sorry, lad. Not really what we're looking for right now, but I appreciate the effort. I appreciate the effort. Tooth and Nail is very good. Randomly allows us to block damage. Free cash rooms forever. All that good jazz. Right, boss, get a third level bandage girl, get hit, of course, par for the course. Just getting all of the devil deals right now, it's kind of great. Sadly, not what we're looking for. Okay, remember to get the card. Honestly, go in here as well. Did not pay out. Use tooth and nail this time, you idiot. There you go. Yeah, you're 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 absolutely right. If we can donate, we should. There's our thingy. Fool card. There's a death card next to it as well. Ow. Able. Able if you're able. More money. Yeah, we got Mausoleum as well, remember. We got Mausoleum. I'll do it on Mausoleum, though. I'll donate on Mausoleum. Um. The Emperor? <laughs> He's no longer disabled. That last run made me feel disabled. In the brain. I'm sorry, that was a that was a joke in part taste. <laughs> I apologize. Thanks for the black heart, fella. I mean, members access doesn't do much for us right now, but I will buy it just in case. Safety scissors is actually decent. I kind of want to pick that up. Do you know what? Paperclip's good enough. We'll keep that.
Fuse cutters is good because of um, war. We don't have to deal with his bombs. Which have hit me from time to time, so... It is kind of one of those things that would be kind of nice to have. But 15 cent is a tall order. Where's that item room? Oh, we've already been to item room. What did we get? Oh, we got Abel. That's, that's why I didn't remember, because Abel is just the most forgettable item in the world. Okay. We got our full card. We're good to go. Grab the bull by the horns. Let's go. Sadly, mum fight is a is a fight that I really struggle with because of marked. But otherwise, we're doing okay here. We've got a lot of moving our aim, which isn't good. Beast fight is actually going to be pretty pretty simple with marked. Um, we've got plenty of time here, so let's do that. Check in here. I guess I'll take you. Why not? And we're going here. We pop this. Ugh. Ugh. That's not very good. Um. Ugh. I guess we take your listen, then full card out and find our secret rooms. Yo, listen, what you doing? Where's our second secret room, little gal? Ooh, Requiem update, update email. Awesome. I'll have to take a look at that myself. Damn it. Yeah, it feels good to be able to place a bomb and not hurt myself. You're damn right it does. You're damn right it does. Doubles our money, why not? And we could buy fuse cutters now. I guess we should. They're pretty valuable. All right, let's go to the mausoleum floor. Let's do it. Let's go. By the way, for anyone wondering, I did already drop a trinket. I dropped uh, Missing Page 2, or, or Missing Page, whichever one it is, on, um, on like, Basement 2, I think. Binky is pretty fucking good for us. Oh, ho, ho. that is a huge fire rate up. Almost a 50% bonus in our fire rate. I really think that on this uh, keeper fight, there should still be a donation machine as well. It'd be very nice if there was. Yeah, I gotta say, your listen's actually really, really, really good. It's just unfortunate we didn't get any statistical increases from any of the uh, boss rush items, but I am gonna still your listen to your listen. Yeah, your listen's found the next secret room. That was me being stupid. Oh, wait, no, uh, it's Tinted Rock, Tinted Rock. Thank you. Item room's over there, but that doesn't matter. Let's go find our second secret room real fast. Your listen's not really helping at all right now. I don't know where our second secret room is. Honestly, I can't be asked. <laughs> it's 
See you later, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Wrong way. Whoopsie, wrong way. Yeah, thanks for all the help, dude. Oh, there's a red brick in there. Thank you, Tooth and Nail, for saving me. Thank you, Tooth and Nail, for saving me. That was pretty clutch. Right as the block hit me, Tooth and Nail activated. Ooh, yeah. Bit of spicy damage there. Looking for item room on this floor because we haven't been there yet. Those of you that don't know, on the Ascent, going to the item room shows you both items, so it's better than going the other way around. And we get Tractor Beam, which is another tier right up, and a significant one at that. And it lets us do this amazingness. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, baby, that's so cool. So cool. Honestly, I'm I am turning the I am turning my page to marked. I have had three really, really positive marked runs recently. And one of them was with Wiz Shot. One of them was marked Wiz Shot, which was awful. Because you fire like this, but they go at two different angles. They don't go on the dotted line at all. Yeah, I do too. It makes Marked a lot more uh, a lot more viable to pick up. But yeah, with with uh, with what's it called? Tractor Beam. It's it's really good. Actually, I have two lines. <laughs> God damn it. Aiming that would be impossible. But yeah, that episode is coming in like two months, so get excited for that. <laughs> the backlog is still hefty. Also, completely forgetting in this run that we have shielded tears and nothing can hit us with tears. I keep forgetting that. Anything that fires tears is basically going to have a super hard time hitting us. We're just swinging like a sword of shots right now. Oh, you see that dodge? This run got absolutely turned around. Okay, there you go. There's our cracked key. A sword made of scythe that has eggs in it. Oh my god. What an amazing sword design. Let his light inside you. Make up your mind, woman. You told him to leave. <laughs> Sounds like a sick album cover. Oh my god. Ooh, look, a quarter. Just in time. I remember my very first time entering this room here. I got a Hierophant card, and I was like, cool, a free Hierophant card. I bet that's there every time. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, oh, Tented Eden unlocked. Delete this challenge unlocked. Hell. Hell on earth. Also, my favourite thing here. Set this up on the TV and chill. All we gotta do is dodge, baby. All we gotta do is dodge. Ain't no aiming for us. Oh no. 
Oh no. Way too close to him for this attack. We did okay though. The hell is the delete this challenge? Oh, do you not know what that challenge is? Oh boy. <laughs> um, this stream is is a little is is like a little long, but after I'm not on Nuzlocke, obviously, but on my normal save file, let's do a delete this run. If you haven't seen it before, I'm, I'd be welcome to show you. It's very fun. I love delete this. It's wacky as shit. It's my favorite challenge in the game. Boom. Look at the bandage girl. She's just standing there. She's just watching TV. What do you mean? Now she's chilling in the lava. Honestly, I'm not swapping direction that I'm firing. I'm sorry, but I'm not. It's too much effort. You will abide to my rules. Oh, now I have to swap, you bastard. Try shooting, bitch. I'm just gonna itch my armpit because it's itchy. While this guy dies, bear it back. Oh. There you go. Simple, easy. Shoot that poison tear right out the sky. Oh, no, it's doing his horrible attack. Kill him before it starts. This attack is the worst. We got him, we got him. Also, I should use this. Politely dial Mr. Projectile Base Boss. <laughs> We've also got fuse cutters for this guy. The bomb still hit me. Like, direct impacted me. Hey, it did it again! You cook, Lord! That's not meant to happen. <laughs> Get bombed, bitch. Tess, you're a medicine fool. Get gigabombed. Dealt with him quite easily. This has ended up being a very powerful run. I mean, I say it ended up, it started off an incredibly powerful run, but the tier rate was looking bleak is all I'm saying. Oh no, the worst attack possible incoming. Oh wait, no, it's just this one in reverse. I've never had him do this this side before. I didn't even know this could happen. I've literally never had him do this before. I didn't even know this was a possibility. Entered final phase, let's go. 
Don't even have to shoot. Give my hand a nice break. Wallop, Mr. Beast. There you go. Beautiful. The everything jar unlocked and Nuzlocke is going pretty well. But now we are going to go and do a delete this challenge. Also, sneak peek at the streak. Sneak peek at the streak. 14. Yes. A 14 streak. Awesome. Right. Y'all ready for a bit of delete this? Guess what, guys? <laughs> You're never gonna believe it. game crashed <laughs> delete this whoopsie game broke <laughs> that might legitimately be the fastest i've ever crashed isaac we literally crashed it in like 0.1 of a second then the run started and it m immediately crashed Okay, we're back. Let's just hope that entering an item room doesn't crash the game again. Everything's looking so normal so far. So normal. Bizarrely normal. Suspiciously normal. Not so normal. Ink to your futu. <laughs> Love a bit of ink to your futu. What did that do? We get poison on hit now. That's all I know. Hey, Pin. It seems to be Serpent's Kiss, maybe? I think we got Serpent's Kiss or something. Something along those lines. And we got MG Challenge. Edda, that's a big stat increase. That's a nice little all stats up there. Okay. Good start. Very good start. Ah, yes. Lovely basement too. Looks just like I remember. Oh, we now fart upon picking things up. Of course, a classic, a staple of the delete this challenge. Oh, I, I, I'm not doing, um, I'm not doing uh, Nuzlocke anymore. This is just a regular run. This isn't for Nuzlocke. This is just a delete this run for fun. Okay, buddy. <laughs> My God, it's a 12 room charge active item. that spawns a Bernie, uh, what the hell? A ca what the fuck? There's a chaos card here, there's a, a dark bum. The hell? <laughs> um, Whatever we have, it's very powerful. Every, every now and again when we kill an enemy, they fart and delete any enemy nearby. <laughs> Mm. 
We got a one room charge active that didn't do anything. I'm just going to roll with it. Deal that the pointless on this. Let's go. For some reason on the delete this challenge, everything farts. No matter what, everything just farts. Okay, let's see what our active does. Nothing. It just farts. Why wouldn't it? We've just got a very farty run right now. A very gassy run indeed. My god. Okay, nice. Got a key as well. Oh god. That sounds horrible. Another passive item. Passive items are scary because you just have no, no idea what they're doing and they're stuck with you. We're getting random piercing shots, so we've got... um. That trinket. I can't remember what it's called now, but we have that trinket. Every enemy death activated sulfur. Nice. <laughs> Perma brimstone. Get out the corner, fool. Let me kill you. An angel deal and perfection. School bag extra. More damage. Yay. We're getting so many passives. This is kind of crazy. Never normally get this many passives. Pretty low on health right now, though, I will say. Catacombs corpse. You know what it is. Oh, we got a key for killing that enemy. Not sure if it was a champion or what, but hey her. All I can say is, what the fuck, yum heart? Uh, no, not yum heart. Mom's bottle of pills. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Seems that we teleport upon picking up pennies. That's a problem. Yep. That's a problem. Mum's pad. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But if we clear a room, we get like a little exclamation thing telling us what we. <laughs> telling us a random mum item. Whoa! That dude like exploded into chaos cards. Okay, it's only on pennies that we teleport. Good. Edge flip. Bookable Isle. Wait, it's actually activating the effects of said items. It's actually activating the effects of said items. What is this? It's Dead Sea Scrolls proccing. Ah. Best friend. Yes, it is. It doesn't seem to be timed by anything. Okay. We got hit. I don't know where I am anymore. I don't know what's happening. Thank you for the soul heart. I needed it. Thank you for being in the way of the door, Penny.
By the soul heart. This is some beautiful stuff we got going on right now. Beautiful stuff. Teleported again. Shoop the whoop. Table slot. Good old table slot. Twisted pair. And we just spawned a random shop item on the floor from firing. <laughs> Okay. We're spawning shop items. We bought a shop item. <laughs> Good old table slot. Crack the sky. This is mental. This one's great. Crystal ball. I'm gonna take the Emperor. Let's use this first and take the Emperor. Oh my god. We got an infinitely recharging active. That's always a good sign. It gives us a. L okay. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't seem that great, actually. Gives us a little hushy and shoop the whoop. <gasps> oh! Yes! My hushy babies! Go, my fellas, go! We got a planetarium! <laughs> ah, shit, there's an enemy. That is a really cool sprite. Sissy long legs, it feels curs. <laughs> It feels curse. The fuck is going on right now? Ice? <laughs> it does feel curse. Indeed, it does. What even hit me then? Okay, apparently using my spacebar sometimes hurts me, so let's not. No, sorry. Apparently we just sometimes get hurt. Yeah, okay, we have a problem. We are periodically just taking damage. Good old 80 cent items. Fuck. Um, my twisted pair. Hey, it took my twisted pair. You little, you little rebel. Who even knows anymore? Who even knows anymore? Angel deal gone, good. Glad I, glad I pressed the space bar there. Solar. Oh my god, stop teleporting, please. It's painful. Right, I've got an I I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Hello. Right. Let me go back to wherever I was going. I can't remember what I was doing.
I wanted this for some reason. Okay. Back through here. I'm sure a shortcut through here because I can't be asked. No! For fuck's sake! No! <laughs> That's a tinted rock there as well. Hello. No! <laughs> it keeps taking me back to the same room as well. Fucking hell. Everything's a minefield. Fuck! <laughs> It put us in the cash room as well. Didn't mean to even do with the common courtesy of giving me a fucking tel uh, thingy card. Okay, so I just want to try something here. Like, if I, like, just summon just an ass load of these. I, do you know, that doesn't really answer my question because I have legitimately no idea what the fuck just happened. Okay, we've got we've got a combo going on here. Let's get the hell out of this floor. Oh boy. <laughs> he wants the mum. Hello. The fucking coins. Stop creating coins. Thank you very much for the follow. The fucking coins, man. What is happening? I think it's that that's hurting me. I've got to put it down. Fat protector. Nope. Ah, oh, the fuck. Okay, that was nice. Stop hurting me, mystical bitch. Some mysterious force keeps hurting me. No! No! It turned the black... <laughs> it turned the black hearts into fucking random shit. Fuck you. Oh, this run's so unplayable. It's great. Why are the coins following me? No! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, thank you, Tamakura. Uh, remember, I also have a YouTube channel if you want to check out that as well. Would definitely appreciate it. But yeah, it's been a great having you by. Thanks for stopping, dude. stopping by, dude. Okay, we got teleported to the boss. That's something, at least. Fuck. 
fuck me. This run's impossible. <laughs> we just can't. We, we, we can't physically get through a room without spawning coins. It just doesn't work. The coins follow us as well. That's fucking hilarious. So funny that the coins follow us too. And we just keep summoning items at will as well. We have more of the void now apparently and spoon bender. Where all my health go? Fucking stop! <laughs> God. I'm literally not doing anything anymore. I'm not even I'm not even touching anything right now. I I didn't touch a single thing right then. Stop. Just leave me alone. I have to admit, I think this is a lost cause. I think this one's a lost cause. Oh, that's very nice, but we can't pick him up because we got too much health. What? What on earth? We're just at the whim of the game now. We are literally at the whim of the game now. If the game sees it fit for us to survive, and I'm sure we will, but I don't think the game sees it fit right now. The game did not see it fit, but we revived. There you go. <laughs> the room was the run was doomed to fail either way i hope you guys enjoyed this is a fantastic stream we got loads of good stuff done had a really stressful um a really stressful little run with maggie there but that's always fun on the nuzlocke it's it's not as fun if you don't have an incredibly stressful run in the middle of it all either way hope you guys enjoyed this stream definitely uh enjoyed it myself and i'll see you guys in the next one